With the recent drop of Pokemon Home, a variety of new Pokemon have joined the tier. Some are not much worth using, such as Hisui and Avalok, who just adds multiple weaknesses onto its standard Ice type, and Mew, who now lacks recovery options that once made it so great. Others, such as Sneasler and Enamorist, are both excellent options that are now seen very commonly, making use of their differing toys and interesting types. With so many recent threats introduced into the metagame, the council has been taking consistent votes to determine what is too powerful for the tier. So far, two of the newly released Pokemon stand above the rest, Yoshifu and Magirna. Magirna had a very short time in the new Mono meta, getting banned only two days after its introduction. With an excellent typing and solid enough stats to support it, Magirna's move pool is what sets it apart from other Pokemon. While setups from any Pokemon can be scary, Magirna's specific options put it over the top. Access to Calm Mind and Shift Gear when combined with Stored Power to make use of the boost, and Draining Kiss as a stab recovery option made Magirna incredibly threatening to nearly every type as the two moves hit everything except for Steel for at least neutral damage. With solid enough bulk, positioning Magirna into a setup opportunity was not very difficult, and it quickly became centralizing. Iron Defense was another option some chose which when combined with Calm Mind made Magirna near impossible to take off the field. For all of these reasons, Magirna was quickly voted on by the council, and in a unanimous vote was removed from the metagame. Your Shifu base form was removed from the SS metagame after some time due to its monstrous offensive presence, especially when combined with Wicked Blow, a stab dark move that always results in a critical hit. Many were skeptical about bringing it back, especially when it got access to a new toy. Access to Sword Stance this go around quickly pushed your Shifu over the top. With decent enough bulk and speed, your Shifu didn't have much trouble getting off a of Sword Stance, and the rest of its move pool took advantage of this setup handily. Drain Punch was used for recovery, while Wicked Blow, already an incredibly strong move, became near impossible to switch into with any defensive wall. Even Quagsire, a Pokemon with the ability Unaware, was taking around 90% from two Wicked Blows from a Black Glasses boosted your Shifu. To top it off, it got access to Sucker Punch, making up for its slightly slower speed tier and allowing it to beat Pokemon such as Fluttermane, Swift Swim, Basque Legion, and Bear Squeda, and Choice Spec Zapdos. Yoshifu quickly took Magirna's place at the top of the tier, and about a week into the metagame, the council took a vote on Yoshifu, and it was removed from the tier with 7 out of 8 ban votes. With the ban of Yoshifu came a slew of other votes by the council, giving their take on some of the other biggest names in the tier. Only one vote away from a ban came Sneasler, a Pokemon whose signature move gives a 50% chance to sleep, paralyze, or poison every time it is used. This stacks a 65% chance for status every turn when it is clicked due to its ability, Poison Touch. Zamazenta also came up with 2 out of 7 votes in favor of banning it due to its incredibly strong base stats hitting 660 and an interesting move pool that can be difficult to predict. Single typings are usually not the best in mono though, and not having any stab outside of fighting holds it back. Another vote will likely come out in the following weeks taking a closer look at these two. That's all and I hope to hear your guys' thoughts as well.